Hey everybody, welcome back. James here again with you. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Today, I got my factory Ruger 1022 back out again, as you can see here. The only thing, again, that's different is the uh, butt plate, which I have really broad shoulders, so that little factory skinny broad butt plate does not really work out for me. But I am shooting prone today off my bags, and I figured I would do another rimfire video. It's been a while since I've done some rimfire videos, and as many of you know, you've seen the previous video with this gun at 100 yards. Uh, I was able to achieve a uh, half inch group with the Winchester bulk pack, and today, again, um, I took some readings from this barrel and everything, and I found another load that works really well. Um, if you watched the past video over last summer, where I did the bulk ammo accuracy out of this, uh, I noticed some loads that did work, and the thing was, I didn't give them time enough to get acclimated to the bore, but it's also nice to see what happens when the bullets get switched right out from each other instead of having to clean the gun and let it get acclimated in. So, with that said, today's video, guys, I'm using another bulk ammunition, which I have found to be very, very accurate in my Ruger 1022 is the Remington Golden Bullet 36 grain hollow point, as you can see here. And what I have set up down there is that after I took some readings again in this barrel, I captured the bullet and measured it and seen what it was doing. I got five playing cards set up downrange with the camera down there to pick them up after being shot. And I got a couple shots loaded in the mag. I'm going to hit them. And the reason why is this gun is that accurate with this bullet. Uh, I got the bullets acclimated to this barrel and what happened is down there on a piece of paper on my backboard, I got a five shot group that's incredible after they got acclimated in. It is something else. So I didn't get it on camera, but it doesn't matter because I want to show you just how accurate this barrel is splitting or hitting, I guess, uh, playing card. We'll see what happens, but five of them down there with this bullet. So I got set up down there, my downrange camera. Again, 50 yards off the tack driver bag. Okay, all right, let me get set up here. Now I'm using a little bit of hold because this gun is not dialed in for these bullets and you'll see that on target. So hopefully I'll be able to hit the card. All right. Oh, that's one. Come on. Oh. There's two. I got them spread out about a half inch down there apart on a box so they stay pretty steady, but they're not straight looking through my scope. There's three. Oh, come on, baby. Four. One more, come on. Come on. Holy crap. Five. Wow. That was it. Let's go down there and check it out. Wow. That is something else on how accurate this barrel is. Wow, tack driver bags, 50 yards prone. That is something else, guys. Five shots, five playing cards hit. I don't know, I can't tell if I split them, but I hit them. I know that, they popped out of the slot on the box here. 
Wow. Here you go. There's my downrange camera. There's the box, and you can see the cars just split everywhere down here. And here's that group I was telling you about. So that was my first shot, got the pellet or the bullet acclimated to the bore after taking some test shots to measure the bullets. And there's five right there in that group from a prone position at 50 yards. Holy cow. So as you can see, the cards are just all over the place here. That is amazing. Well, I thought it'd be interesting to actually chronograph these loads to see where they're at because I believe they're rated at around 1,200 feet per second or so. And it's going to be interesting to find. So I'm going to take five shots through the chronograph, guys. Keep watching because it's going to get interesting. Okay, here we go. Remington Golden Bullet, 36 grain hollow point. Five shots through the chronograph. Eleven ninety seven. Thirteen fifteen. Eleven eighty eight. Eleven ninety four. Twelve seventy four. Wow. A lot of variance there, but they're accurate at fifty yards. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering how I captured the bullet if you didn't watch the 22LR secrets video. Um, and if you did, you know exactly what I'm doing here. I filled up a plastic trash garbage can and I take a bullet and shoot down in it with pillows, which actually I'm down to one pillow and then I'm using some old couch cushions. So take the pillow and let it get soaked in there and let it get filled up with water that way it'll stop the bullet from hitting the bottom it, the bullet loses all most of its energy before it hits the bottom of the barrel and when you capture it you can sit there and take your readings and look at the rifling to see how the angle is on the rifling whether or not it's a perfect angle or a perfect match and I eyeball this and also you can measure the lanes and grooves of the barrel to determine exactly what length of rifling you need. Okay, so the water filled all the way up here. The pillow's right underneath. Here we go. Take these off. Gun is clear. There we go. There is a perfect specimen to inspect and check the rifling on and see how stable this bullet is. Because 22LR bullets swatch to the bore, as you can see those little lines in the bullet, that's a swatching line from the case. It's a healed bullet. So there you have it guys, that's how you do it. So guys, I appreciate you watching and I hope you got something from this video. Again, uh, with the shortage going on right now with ammunition, I understand it's hard to get out and do what you like to do with rim fire, center fire, air guns. So, you know, again, 
I try to get the most out of my guns no matter what no matter what I am using whether it's a, a bulk ammo or a match grade ammo or whatever ammo I always try to achieve the best and as you guys know that's what I try to do and you can see it in the videos and as always guys thanks again for watching and I hope to catch you on the next one